In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Glow Huawei MiFi, 4G MiFi. First thing you want to do is to connect your MiFi to your desktop, which gives the larger interface. You can also do that on your mobile phone. So I go to the wireless connection, search for the device. The default name is Glow Mobile Wi-Fi. This can be changed and I'll show you how you can do that further along the video. Now the network security key is going to be at the back of the MiFi. If you pull out the back cover, you will see it underneath the back cover. It's also underneath the MiFi below the battery. So you'll find it in any of those two sections. So I'll be imputing my Wi-Fi key. It's a set of alphanumeric digits so that I can get access to the connection. I click on next, it verifies and it connects. So I'm connected, as you can see, the connection icon is displayed. So the next thing I'll do is to type in my browser, this 192.168.8.1 link. That takes me to the admin portal where I can manage my MiFi. First thing you'll be greeted with is the login page. You'll be required to input your username and password here. The default username is admin. The password is also admin. And then we log in. The next page we see is where we configure our WLAN settings. Now the SSID, Service Set Identifier, is the name of your device. We can change this name from this to anything of our choice when we do it will no longer appear as glow mobile wi-fi here but to whatever it is we change it to so we can go ahead and do that let's change it to test device then we need to automatically modify our password we'll be asked to do that that's why you have this setup from one to three so if you check this modify password section here you will be required to modify your password which is one we use to connect to this desktop it's called the wlan key the one at the back of the device so you can pick a password of your choice in this case i'll be picking something different and then next i'll escape this keep this option as is auto download next now here we are also going to be required to modify the password we use to log into this portal we're going to change from admin to something else of our choice keep in mind that the password needs to be strong in terms of strength it won't be the same length as the current password otherwise it's throw an error so let's insert the current password which is admin select another password of our choice now automatically you are going to notice that once i finish this setup i will be logged out because different things have changed the login password has changed the name of the device has changed you automatically see that this internet access will go off so watch i'm finishing this step Is success now watch can you see that it's gone off because it no longer recognizes the device name and the password what I now need to do to proceed from this point is to repeat the process so I go and search the name has changed I have to insert the new password I choose. Now this password is the one that is supposed to be at the back of the device but which I changed. So I'm going to insert the password I choose. So allow me connect. And we are back. We now have internet access. So the page is relaunching. I'm now logged in. So we navigate to search settings. Under settings, we have more options. Now I can rename the device here, 
but I will not for now. I can also modify the password here, but I will not for now. The next section we want to navigate is the WLAN section under WLAN basic settings. Here we can also change the device name and also change the hotspot password. We can call it that as well or the MiFi password, the one we share or we insert in other devices that we want to connect to. We can edit it here and then apply and the change will be applied. You can also make your Wi-Fi connection open. In other words, once you launch it, the devices around connect automatically. That is not recommended for security reasons. However, if that is the decision you want to take, you can click on this drop down and select none. Apply and then you won't be required to insert a password to access this MiFi connection. But we won't choose that here. The final section we want to navigate to is system, modify password. Here we can change the password that we use to log into this portal from what we change it to, to the default. We can do that here. So all these options are back here again from the initial setup. They're just lodged in different sections. Now, just to also add that another step you can take to restart the whole process is to go to your MiFi, pull out the back cover. You see at the edge of the MiFi, the reset button, take a sharp object or a pointed object and press it gently for five to 10 seconds. Once that is done, everything resets. The name of the device resets. The login password into this portal resets back to admin, admin. And then that takes us back to the step that we initially began to connect to this device. And then again, once you do that, remember that this internet connection will go off because the name of the device has changed and the password has changed as well. Thank you for watching.